Sunday, March 11, 2012, The Information Nation. I'm your host, Ken, on Orion Talk Radio, oriontalkradio.com, theinformationnation.com. Been an interesting week. Watch people get all up in arms about what Rush Limbaugh had to say. You know, picking on that poor, poor girl for her freedom of speech. Oh, my God. She's spending $400,000 to become a liar. I mean, a lawyer. And she can't afford birth control. <laughs> oh, poor baby. But they had nothing to say about Bill Maher, who called uh, Governor Palin. Used the C word on her. And what he has said about Michelle Bachman and other women, because they say, well, you know, he's a comedian, you know, and he's he's on HBO. He doesn't have sponsors to worry about. Um, doesn't matter. Where's the civility? What happened to civility in this country? <clears throat> it's very interesting. It's um, it's okay if the liberal left you know, rips apart a conservative, but let a conservative say something. Now, Rush Limbaugh has since apologized, and Bill Maher says, no, I'm going to apologize. This is what I do. Yeah, well, you're a pig. What can I tell you? A pure insult to women, whether they are Republican or Democrat, liberal or conservative, it doesn't really much matter. What um, Bill Maher said was an insult to women in general. You want to have politically correct speech, then it works on both sides of the coin. It's not just something that we can say, but you can't. You know, the more I look at these liberals, the more I'm convinced they're like those little kids. I'm going to take my ball and go home if you don't play my way. And here's a good example. Gloria Allred. Now, this woman is an attorney. She's a rock star attorney. She's a high-powered, um, <clears throat> you know, she handles the, the rich and the famous. And she wants to prosecute Le- Rush Limbaugh for what he said. Go ahead and do it. Please, let's get it in the court. Because if I were Limbaugh's attorney, I would play the, she says uh, that uh, the popular uh, radio show host should be prosecuted for calling a law student a slut and a prostitute last week. Ooh, Mr. Limbaugh targeted his attack at a young law student who was simply exercising her free speech and her right to testify before Congress on a very important issue to millions of American women, and he vilified her. Let's get right down to the basics here, lady. If this chick wants to go out and screw around and be a piece of garbage, hey, Go ahead and do it, but not on my dime. You are not going to do it on my dime. Do it on your own damn dime. If you've got the money <clears throat> to pay out two to $400,000 to go to law school, I'm sure you can go and buy a pack of prophylactics or go get your monthly allotment of pills without the people in this country having to pay for it. People can say what they want about Rush Limbaugh and about, uh, you know... Alex Jones and the rest of them. But if we don't start sticking together on these types of issues, we're not going to have anything left to stick together about. This is pure, unadulterated slander on the part of Gloria Aldrich and the rest of them on Rush Limbaugh. When they will not come out and state that what Bill Maher said is just as bad or worse. He did it to a governor and a congresswoman. He comes out with his stuff, and nobody will touch him. I guess if you give a million dollars to Obama, you can say whatever you want to. Everybody got a million dollars to give to Obama's uh, re-election. What do they call them things, PAC? Yeah, you know why they call it a PAC? Because guess what they do? You give them the money, and they pack it all right. Pack it right up your chocolate whiz-wang. I know there are some people in the chat room just waiting for that one. But that's what they do. And we're supposed to sit back like good little, good little conservative people and go, oh, okay, I'll sit down and I'll be quiet. I won't say anything. I don't want to get you mad at me. That might be other people. That's not me. 
Glory Allred, stick it up your ass. You money-grubbing, celebrity-grabbing bitch. And if you have a problem with that, sue me. You ain't going to get anything, but go ahead. Have fun. Yeah, it says here, a letter dated March 8th, Allred writing on writing on behalf of Women's Equal Rights Def Legal Defense and Education Fund. I didn't see you write a letter to your buddy Bill Maher. Are you doing him in the background somewhere? You kind of going in there and bending over his desk and letting him do you a little bit there, Gloria? If you're going to play the game, play the game by equal rules. It's not like turning around and having a baseball game. You know, okay, this team gets to bat. You get to play the field. And guess what? You don't ever get to bat. <clears throat> but it's fair. Those are the liberal rules. Um, no, that's not the way it works. Gloria. We sit back and we put up with this garbage and we put up with this garbage and we put up with this garbage. And it's our own damn fault because we won't get right back in their faces and tell her to go stuff it. I'm about as politically correct as a two-by-four to the forehead. I don't play those games. I don't like those games. I don't like what's going on in this country. And they just turn around and say, oh, well, if you don't agree with Obama, you're a racist. You're damn right I'm a racist. If that's the definition of a racist, I'm a racist. Sick of this crap. Just had enough. I'm tired of paying so people like this can run around and go, Ooh. all they're doing is they want to get limbo off the air. Yeah, that's right, Cracker. Bring on the pepper spray. Yep, you got to calm me down there, pep uh, Cracker. Get that pepper spray out there. Just don't tase me, bro. Just don't tase me. But this is what we've become. We have allowed these people to turn around and do whatever they want to another segment of the population, and we're supposed to take it. We're supposed to sit there like good little boys and girls and take it. And I'll tell you how wacky these, these liberals are. I did a, <clears throat> it, it, it's kind of funny, I, I did a YouTube video and I posted it the other day, yesterday as a matter of fact, about can Ron Paul win? And never mentioned Obama through the whole thing. Never mentioned Obama, never mentioned the Democrats. And some Democratic slut, or whatever they want to call themselves, got on there and started leaving comments that were unbelievable. They were just unbelievable. Well, I think Obama is the greatest president we've ever had in the history of this country. And I voted for him. I'd vote for him for a third term and a fourth term. And I tried to, to my mistake, I tried to to reason with this person. Till finally I got pissed off and I said, you know, the last time you voted for Obama to make history, this time vote for somebody else to prove to people that you're not an idiot. And that was the last thing I said to her because I'm tired of it. I never said a word about Obama. I never said a word about the, about the elections or anything else. But all of a sudden I'm the bad guy because what I posed to the people was, there's a lot of people out there that are, oh, yeah, Ron Paul, Ron Paul, Ron Paul. Then they get in the voting booth. Well, Ron Paul can't win. I might as well vote for Mitt Romney because they say he's going to win. No, the primary season is the time to vote for your candidate. Win, lose, or draw, it doesn't matter. So when you walk into that voting booth, if you're a Ron Paul supporter, push the Ron Paul button, break out his chads, do whatever you got to do, and let the news media just sit back and go, ooh, how did Ron Paul win this one? That's the, that was the crux of the video. Nowhere was Obama mentioned. 